हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगैन वेलकम बैक टू मैथ्स बाई गुरप्रीत सिखो होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन एट योर प्लेसेस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू फार्मूला टू सॉल्व क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इन द सेम सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज एंड दैट फार्मूला इज क्वाड्रेटिक फार्मूला इट्स वेरी ईजी फार्मूला एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर द फार्मूला एंड देन यू कैन अप्लाई इट वेरी वेरी ईजीली सो वट इज़ द फार्मूला फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर सॉल्विंग अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर एक्स देन एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस बी प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट बी स्क्वेयर माइनस फोर ए सी अपॉन टू ए नाउ हेयर इज वन थिंग वट इज बी ए एंड सी आई होप दैट यू गाइज हैव लर्न द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इट वॉज ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इक्वल्स टू जीरो राइट सो ए इज द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर बी इज द कॉफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स एंड सी इज अवर कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म सो यू कैन पुट द वैल्यूज रिस्पेक्टिवली नाउ दिस टर्म विच इज अंडर द रूट इट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज डिस्क्रिमिनेंट नाउ you can if 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 in the sum you are asked to find only discriminant then you only have to find b square minus 4ac and uh, if you are asked to find the roots then you have to apply this formula and uh, then you can find the roots easily discriminant is also denoted sometimes as d okay so sometimes only discriminant can be uh, could be asked in the question and sometimes only roots can be asked now firstly start uh, let's start with our very first example that is example 10th in example 10th actually it's given that breadth of the plot is x meters and length is 2x plus 1 and ultimately the area will be after finding the area which is given to be 528 the ultimate equation which we are getting is 2x square plus x minus 528 is equals to 0 i think that you can form this equation by just simply looking at the example because it is already explained at the starting of our chapter so that is why i have not made the equation completely but you if you find any kind of problem while forming the equation feel free to dm me on my insta id it's given in the description you can use comment section as well okay so we have to find the length of the plot okay so length or breadth breadth of the plot we have to find because we have considered it as x now it's a quadratic equation we have to find roots of this equation now it's totally up to you that how you are going to find the roots of this equation whether you are splitting the middle term which is very very difficult in this case <clears throat> or you are completing the squares and completion of squares is also a complicated formula right so we will apply the quadratic formula so let's see firstly just solve this term separately so that to avoid kind of complications now here a is 2 b is 1 and c is minus 5 28 okay now b square minus 4ac 1 माइनस फोर मल्टीप्लाई टू मल्टीप्लाई माइनस ऑफ फाइव ट्वेंटी एट इट विल बिकम वन प्लस बिकॉज माइनस माइनस प्लस एट मल्टीप्लाई फाइव ट्वेंटी एट वेन यू विल मल्टीप्लाई यू विल गेट फोर टू टू फोर अल्टीमेटली यू विल गेट योर डिस्क्रिमिनेंट एज फोर टू टू फाइव ऑल राइट नाउ सब्सिट्यूट एट इन द क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला वट यू विल गेट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस बी it means minus 1 plus minus under root 4 2 2 5 by 2a that means 2 multiply 2 what will you get minus 1 now 4 4 2 5 the root of 4 2 2 5 is 65 so we will get minus 1 plus minus 65 upon 4 now as you have seen that this is a quadratic equation and of course the number of roots will be 2 only but here it's only 1 don't skip this sign okay plus minus means our first root will be minus 1 plus 65 upon 4 second root will be minus 1 minus 65 upon 4 so we have gotten two roots now let's find the value of x and uh, because x will be our breadth so x is equals to 64 upon 4 or minus 66 upon 4 now you can see that this is becoming 16 and this is 66 upon 4 this is negative so it will be rejected why because we have to find the breadth and breadth cannot be 
negative because it's a dimension of something so that is why the only value which can be accepted is 16 so that is why the breadth of given rectangular plot is 16 and if you want to find the length as well the length was 2x plus 1 which will be equal to 2 multiply 16 plus 1 that is 32 plus 1 which is equal to 33 this is how you can apply the quadratic formula now in the next exercise uh, or in this one as well you will get to know that if the value of discriminant is coming out to be negative then the equation will be having no real roots if the value is coming out to be greater than or equal to 0 only then you will be able to find the roots okay so let's move to the next example to clear our concepts a bit more this is our next example in which a statement is given we have to find two consecutive odd positive integers sum of whose squares is 290 I'm pretty much sure you know what consecutive integers are not odd positive consecutive integers means one after the other so consecutive odd positive integers let first one will be x and second will be second positive integer will be x plus 2 why x plus 2 not x plus 1 because if you will choose x plus 1 then it will become 2 comma 3 and these are not odd positive integers so consecutive odd positive integers means we have to skip one number that means 2 4 these are even positive integers consecutive even positive integers and if you will write 3 comma 5 these are consecutive odd positive integers so you can see we have to skip one number or you can say that we have to add 2 so that is why first integer is coming out to be x and second will be x plus 2 we have to find these both integers or indirectly or directly we have to find the value of x sum of whose squares is 290 let's apply the given condition the second given condition that is sum of squares means x square plus x plus 2 square is equals to 290 right now x square plus x square plus 4 plus 2x multiply 2 is equals to 290 or in other words x square plus x plus 4 plus 4x is equals to 290 or 2x square plus 4x plus 4 is equals to 290 simplify it a bit more 2x square plus 4x plus 4 minus 290 is equals to 0 2x square plus 4x minus of 286 is equals to 0 we can take 2 as a common factor correct x square plus 2x minus 143 2 ones are 2 2 fours are 8 and 2 threes are 6 is equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and you can solve it by any method let's apply the quadratic formula directly what will we get x is equals to minus b it means minus 2 plus minus under root b square it means 2 square minus 4 a a is 1 what is c that is minus 143 don't forget to take the sign along with because then you will get here the negative term under the root and you cannot solve it further so take signs as well and just keep in mind the general form of a quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 upon 2a means 2 multiply 1 solve it minus 2 plus minus under root 2 square 4 minus now this is plus minus minus plus and uh, you will get 572 upon 2 it will be further equal to minus 2 plus minus 572 plus 4 that is root 576 upon 2 which will be further equal to minus 2 plus minus 24 because 24 24 are 576 is equal to 2 now here are two roots two values of x minus 2 plus 24 upon 2 minus 2 minus 24 upon 2 solve it 22 upon 2 and minus 26 upon 2 which is equal to 11 and minus 13 now we cannot take minus 13 as a value of x I'm sorry for this we cannot take minus 13 as a value of x because we have to find two consecutive odd positive integers it's negative one that is why we'll reject it and x will be 11 only now what was the first integer that was x so it will be 11 and second one it was x plus 2 so 11 plus 2 that is 13 
okay so 11 and 13 are our two required positive integers and if you are doubtful about the answer you can substitute it in the equation that in the condition that was given that sum of a square of these two consecutive odd integers positive integers is 290 so you can check x square plus x plus 2 square is equals to 11 square plus 13 square you will get 121 plus 169 ultimately you will get 290 which was the given condition so in this way you can cross check your answer that whether it's right or wrong all right let's move to the next one the given statement is that a rectangular park is to be designed whose breadth is three meter less than its length okay so firstly we'll consider the breadth as x and length will be x plus 3 what we will write let breadth of rectangle is equals to x meter so length will be x plus 3 because breadth is 3 meter less than the length so if length is x plus 3 breadth will be x only now area of this rectangle is given to be 4 square meter more than the area of an isosceles triangle with its base as the breadth of the rectangle it means the diagram is somewhat like this we are given with a rectangle we have considered the length as x plus 3 and the breadth has x now here is an isosceles triangle with the base as breadth of the rectangle means the base of triangle is the breadth of the rectangle it means it's also x and altitude of triangle is given that is 12 meter right so area of the rectangle is given to be four square meters more than the area of this isosceles triangle in other words we have to find the areas of both of the figures first and then we will apply the given condition now let's find the area of rectangle area of rectangle will be equal to x multiply x plus 3 that is x square plus 3x meter square this is area of rectangle it is given to be 4 meters more than the area of triangle so area of triangle you know the formula it's half multiply base multiply altitude what is base that is x what is altitude that is 12 so you will get 6 x meter square you have found the area now apply the given condition what was given that the area of rectangle it's 4 square meter more than the area of triangle this is area of rectangle and this is area of triangle and this is given that it's 4 square meters more than the area of triangle now x square plus 3x minus 6x minus 4 is equals to 0 or x square minus 3x minus 4 is equals to 0 now again now this is an easy equation so you can find roots by any method so let's apply the middle term splitting if it can be applied yeah it can be applied we have to fetch two digits by multiplying them we have to get minus 4 and by adding or subtracting them we should get minus 3 so I guess it's none other than 4 ones are 4 because it will like x square minus x plus x minus 3x minus 4x because x minus 4x is minus 3x minus 4 is equals to 0 you will get x x plus 1 minus 4 and x plus 1 now take x plus 1 as a common factor and x minus 4 will be the remaining factor is equals to 0 now either x plus 1 is equals to 0 or x minus 4 is equals to 0 from here x is equals to minus 1 and x is equals to 4 from here now x minus 1 will be rejected why so because we have to find the length and breadth of the rectangle these are again the dimensions so dimensions cannot be negative so that is why we will reject this value and we will be left with only this value so x is equals to 4 is our required value what was the length length was x plus 3 you will get 3 plus 4 that is 7 meter and what was breadth that was simply x so that is 4 meter this is how you have to form quadratic equations from a given statement okay so firstly understand the statement very carefully only then you will be able to apply 
any kind of formula the quadratic formula or any other kind of formula okay now here there is a point that uh, example 13 is including the all of the three sums which we have already done you just have to apply the quadratic formula and to f you just have to find the roots and while attempting still if you find any problem while attempting example 13 all the three parts feel free to contact me feel free to dm me on my insta id the link of ours is given in the description or you can use the comment section as well i'll be more than happy to assist you there so let's move to the first part of 14th example it's a bit complicated equation not that much complicated but it looks so so that's why this is the equation and it's given that x is not equal to 0 because if x will be equal to 0 then this term will become not defined so we don't want to do that so that's why x is already given not to be equal to 0 now let's solve it just you have to solve it and you will see that you will get a quadratic equation which we can solve very very easily just take the LCM here is x plus 1 upon x and here is 1 only is equals to 3 the LCM of 1 and x is of course x then you will get here x square plus 1 is equals to 3 or x square plus 1 is equals to 3x just cross multiply what will you get x square minus 3x plus 1 is equals to 0 we have gotten our quadratic equation just simply apply the quadratic formula x is equals to minus b that is minus of minus 3 plus minus under root b square that is minus 3 square minus b square minus 4 what is a that is 1 what is c that is again 1 upon 2a it means 2 multiply 1 so here we have got 3 only plus minus under root 9 minus 4 divided by 2 3 plus minus under root 5 divided by 2 you have got your roots because one the value of x will be the both values of x will be 3 plus root 5 upon 2 and 3 minus root 5 upon 2 this is how to solve these kind of complicated equations. just take the lcm and ultimately you have to make a quadratic equation so that you can apply any of the methods of completing the squares or splitting the middle term or quadratic formula so to find the roots of that equation let's move to the second part which i think is more easier this is the second part and this is the equation this is the condition that x can't be equal to 0 and 2 because if it will become equal to 0 then this term will not be defined and if it will become is equals to 2 then this term will become a not defined kind of term so let's solve it just take the LCM again what you will get x multiply x minus 2 and what will you get x minus 2 minus x is equals to 3 or x minus 2 minus x is equals to 3 x x minus 2 just cross multiply the denominator x minus x that is 0 minus 2 is equals to 3 x multiply x minus 2 minus 2 is equals to 3 x square minus 6 x or minus 2 minus 3 x square plus 6 x is equals to 0 just rearrange it a bit minus 3 x square plus 6x minus 2 is equals to 0 or 3x square minus 6x plus of 2 is equals to 0 now this is the quadratic equation that is formed ultimately now let's apply the quadratic formula what is that x is equals to minus b minus of minus 6x minus 6 only plus minus under root b square that is minus 6 square minus 4 multiply a what is a that is 3 c that is 2 upon 2 a it means 2 multiply by 3 minus minus plus 6 plus minus under root 36 minus 4 3s are 12 2s are 24 36 minus 24 divided by 6 now 6 plus minus 36 minus 24 that is 12 root of 12 divided by 6 now it's the root of an even number so let's find it by the prime factorization if it is existing or not 2 6 are 12 2 3 are 6 and uh, 3 
ones are three. So what we will get two multiply two multiply three. So two is a pair. We can take it out of the root six plus minus two root three divided by six. Now there are uh, now we can take two as a common factor. Just simplify it a bit. What will you get? Two three plus minus root three divided by six. Two threes are six. What are the roots? Three plus root three upon three and three minus root three upon three. Okay, these are the roots. Now this is the thing. When you are having roots. in your when you are having square roots in the value of roots you cannot find it with the middle term splitting method because it's very tough to do so you can find i'm not saying that you cannot but it's very tough to do so because we have to find two digits two digits who are having roots okay and then you have to find that whether by multiplying or adding or subtracting them you are getting your desired digit or not so that is the thing that you cannot apply middle term splitting at all of the quadratic equations but the quadratic formula can be applied on any of the quadratic equation and you can find your roots very easily and at last just don't forget to write the roots separately at the end because only then the checker will understand that yes he or she has found roots so just write it separately at the end to get good marks now the next example is that example involving the case of upstream and downstream that is the most complicated one but i would like to tell you that i will make a different video for only that example and uh, excluding that example our exercise 4.3 is finished and uh, we have learned quadratic formula in today's video so i would really like you to apply the quadratic formula on the equations given in the exercise and keep practicing keep up the good work and do hard work to get good marks in the exams and don't forget to press the subscribe button before leaving my channel so as to update you with the new videos on a regular basis all right see you in the next video keep practicing good luck for you